Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I am quite excited because this is a portable projector from Biontech U80 Max. And I reviewed it and I wasn't expecting this much of a quality I'm, uh, out of something this small. And still, I'm trying to figure it out, really. So, but again, like any of the videos, even though they send me the product for review, I'm going to tell you a huge amount of test results that I've done. So this is going to be a very long tested detailed video but don't worry i will give you the full conclusion in the beginning so if you are willing to purchase a projector and if you're trying to convince yourself which one is the best for you and if you're maybe idealizing portability is a good stuff this is a battery powered projector but let me tell you one secret i will use this projector probably daily basis for my projector 60 70 percent even though right now, right beside me, in the TV unit's cabinet, I have 4K short row ViewSonic 3000 and Suleiman projector. And I'm going to review it hopefully soon. I really love it. But for casual use and daily TV series, maybe movies, I will be probably using 70% this. I never thought I would say such a stuff for a portable projector. So this is going to be an interesting review. Stay tuned. There will be discount code in the description below and there will be discount time they because uh, the biontech told me that they are going to launch a discount so there will be links in the description of this video don't skip anything go to the description try to check the links and there might be a discount code for my channel special i'm not sure because i'm shooting this video very fast if there is a discount code i will also share that and i will also and make the explanation how you would use that code to get discount that sort of stuff will help me but this projector is very interesting i'm going to start right away with the specs and then i'm going to dive deep with my test results because there are lots of interesting stuff that you might want to hear so first thing is first this is a led projector and full hd android it comes with android 11 but right after i've started to test this device right after the connecting to internet it got a huge update around 700 megabytes so it might change its android value so you'll be seeing the final android version on the screen if i see it other than an android 11. don't worry and if you don't see with the menu section same menu you might be having the first version so update probably will come to your device don't worry and we got dual wi-fi but most important part this device has internal 4k capable google license so you got a 4k real 4k dongle built inside with a pretty fast gpu and cpu combination i will tell you the specs but one other thing i've never seen with any small projector like this they tend to show with everything on it like dmd chip size is 0 0.23 none of the brands are mentioning this at least the ones that small size like this and they are also giving in their aliexpress description led source is called brand ostrom so none of the brands at least until i've tested single led or small projectors don't give their led light source brand so this is showing kind of like trust they're really believing their product they are giving their internals as brands like they're building a car let's just say pagani zonda using a you know engine from a known brand like bmw or mercedes-benz like kind of different cars so they trust their own brand own identity and they're also trusting what's inside of it what brand they use inside we got 30,000 hours of light source life which means if you use it around roughly four to five hours about plus 10 years which is abusing by the way for a device like a projector so if you're going to use it two hours that'll make more sense and it makes it around 20 years so you will be probably changing the device by now but at that stage and the brightness 500 and Sulumen on their declaration but i made my test i will share in in a, a minute but 
you might be seeing on the screen. The device is extremely tiny. You can see it. It's smaller than my hand. It's smaller than anything that you've seen so far, but it has ability of 1.5 to 3 hours of use with the battery. And I've also tested that. I will share in a minute. Don't worry. We got 15,000 milliamps hours battery. And each one is 5,000 milliamps. You got three internal batteries inside connected to each other in total 15,000 milliamps. You got HDMI 2.1, which is a good stuff because it's also getting the signal 4K 60 Hz, which could be great if you're going to connect your Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 console like me. So I really love that stuff. But what is another thing? Troll ratio is on the lens again. It is, let me just check it from here, the specs, it's maybe a little difficult to find out, 1.2 to 1. So this device is not a short throw, but not a long throw, but something between. So this is kind of like ideal territory to create big screen in a short distance in a small room. That is what projectors do, and especially these portable ones, because you're going to go to camping or inside of a caravan, maybe even a yacht, may. who knows? The only thing that you need is a white or single color, uh, kind of like a, of course, light color, wall or flat surface. They, on the declaration, product declaration, they give around 30 inch to 300 inch. And that's a good screen size. And I will show you in a dedicated section how big it can go and how it looks because it really impressed me over the time. But general tests and videos will be shot around 100 inch, which is kind of like ideal for portable or any projector for that matter. But what is interesting is in my tests, mm, I'm not going to keep that for timing. In my test, I've uh, created a screen less than 30 inch. I probably did less than 20 inch. It was pretty sharp. So you can, uh, and I also shot that scene. You can see it in the video if you don't skip the parts. But with the shutters, it changed a lot of color from the camera because it, it was so bright when you go small like 20 inches, uh, small maybe maybe 16 inches like a laptop size. I, I will show you the screen width so you will get the screen size in the measurement, actual measurement, but it was so bright and so sharp. Just focus on the sharpness. Interestingly, you can use it inside of a thousand watts powerful studio lights. You can use it as a monitor if you go around 20 inch, maybe 16 inch, and it's extremely sharp. So you can use it as a portable monitor. It's something interesting. I wasn't expecting to be able to focus on that level of small size because many of the projectors can't make a focus. Uh, this is not a cheap projector, by the way, but still, it's very difficult to capture 20 inch, maybe even smaller screen and then go around 300 inch. Well, gets me another thumbs up. And what is more interesting about this device, uh, if I had uh, passed this, you got a USB uh, it says 3.0, but I'm not sure about the speed. I didn't made, make a speed test because I had to make this review very fast. But you got a one USB port at the back and you got a power brick. And that is a 19 volt uh, power brick. But basically, uh, it is in total 60 watts of power brick. You got 10 watts of speakers. I will tell you the specs. 1.28 kilos so it is not extremely light because of the internal of course battery but it is a cool looking and overall very portable projector you can take it and go wherever you want so i will get back to the two important sections i made the measurements and you probably seen that in the screen it says 500 ansi lumen but in my test it successed around 340 like 335 0.8, which means 336. Around 336 to 350, it has a quite bright image with the battery and with the power plugged in is the same. So you got the highest brightness level and you can easily use it 
100 inch and 110, 120 without any problem while it is portable. But if you use it in the echo mode to get the three hours of life, okay, you're going to have this volume. So you got a medium, low, and high settings. High is 340 to 350 ancillumen. Low is 175 ish, basically. So you got something between with the medium. But when you go to the lowest settings, you're going to catch around three hours of life, which means you can watch any movie, any long movie, basically, if you don't go to like Oppenheimer and kind of like a, a Gun with the Wind style, very long movies, but you can watch nearly every movie and every TV episode that you want. In the high mode, I've achieved around 120 Sec, uh, 20 minutes one one minute one hour uh, 20 minutes sorry so that means you can catch one and a half hour with that being said i made a firmware update downloaded the 700 megabytes of update and then waited for the update and then installed the google account and then waited for the updates included applications so this was a kind of like a harsh battery test. And in the end, I made a 10 minutes of full sound test. So the audio was pushed to 100%. So this test made me believe that with the highest settings, with the medium level of audio all over use, you can really reach one and a half hour at use time. So that means this is this device Biontech U80 Max really delivering what they are saying. But I would prefer if I'm going to use it on a travel base, I would go medium or low to catch the perfect balance. Because if you're going to do that, you can go a little bit smaller. With the medium settings, you can easily use 100 inch. But if you go low, you might want to go around 80 inch ish sizes. And I'm going to don't worry create a dedicated section where i show you the highest uh, size of the picture and how it looks in a dark room so the most important part again is the internal uh, power of this device i'm going to repeat this part through the video with the different sections i haven't seen anything fast like this device for a while other than my epson ls300 epson ls650 which above two thousand five hundred dollars basically those projectors are having internal 4k dongles even though my epson ls300 was full hd projector it was having the ability to play 4k youtube with above two thousand dollar nearly price this device is doing that same thing it's amazingly shocking this made me believe this device like kind of little over engineered. Biontech could have gone just to make things easier for themselves and to create a cheaper product by using a full HD Google TV dongle inside. Why they've chosen 4K, I don't know. But does it make this device ideal? Yes. And I know it could be a little bit price increase. But when you see the overall picture quality and the sharpness, boy, it's worth, it is worth it. I mean, what I'm about to say, it's not going to be about like making this go buy that product kind of like uh, advice. But if I compare this projector in my head with Epson LS 650, which is kind of like a regular projector with a 3000 NC lumen roughly on their declaration brightness and also 4K Paris Rene. I believe this is really achieving overall general use, very good picture quality, 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio on their declaration. I haven't test, I haven't been able to test because this is taking very fast paced review before their launch of discount, I guess. They wanted me to review it faster and getting details sometimes difficult and one more thing that i couldn't test was the color gamut so if i find that information like to be able to test it because i'm busy these days with my regular work so i will add if you know it you can tell me with the specs and detailed test reports if the biotech can add later on at the description that would help the color gamut space of this device but generally 
uh, I will add all the information later on I've learned in the description below and I might fix a fixed comment to review videos uh, underneath so uh, what else am I missing anything 30 milliseconds of delay I tested it it went from 26 milliseconds to 36 milliseconds but generally it say, stay, stayed around 30 to 32 and 33 milliseconds which means this device be able to you're going to be able to play any console game like a casual gameplay and you can really enjoy uh, racing games and action games this is a casual gaming projector and it's difficult to say something with a battery and it's even difficult to say with the big single led projectors and i'm going to get my final one of the final uh, beloved specs that i've really enjoyed throwing angle is not zero degree so, sorry traveling angle is not 50 degree throwing angle is from straight zero kind of so this is basically throwing out visual like this i made a dedicated video bottom of the video is straight and it goes upwards so that way you can place this on a table and nothing will get in front of the way you can use this with any kind of like a presentation and you can use this projector way easier than many single led 50 percent throw angle projectors i made a dedicated video if you're wondering this topic you can really learn a lot about it because with oh light is gone so sorry about that but i'm going to keep continue uh, basically if you don't know the topic in that dedicated video i explain if you got a 50 percent throwing angle uh, okay it goes like this video goes like this so video goes lower so to keep the video on the eye level you need to get your projector quite high with a tripod what with this you're going to place it on a small table and you're going to get a tv style very eye leveled picture and that is kind of like on my side pretty big deal if you're going to use this on the go or if you want to use it much more easier than many projectors so and we are getting to the end of the conclusion part so i need to tell some of the stuff this device without the discount okay the regular price they told me with the email is 400, uh, 549 euros it could change to the dollar where you are but you're going to find the links in the description and right now you're going to find the discount to 439 dollars which is still not a cheap product that's why i'm going to show you every spec in the upcoming sections of this video you're going to hear the sound you're going to see the picture quality you're going to see pixel peeping from each corner and you're going to get a clear idea then you got to decide yourself but for me instead of my 4k projector right inside of the tv unit i will probably use this device 60 to 70 percent daily casual basis because it's very easy and very convenient and i wasn't expecting 4k video capabilities and none of the reviewers out there like really detailed review this device and mentioned about this i think the internal google 4k tv is pretty important and big deal with the license and not just that but it's working extremely fast with the casting and you can play offline content because the chipset allows you to so it's kind of like a big deal to have a mtk 9632 uh, chipset with the mali g52 gpu so you got a good gpu you can even connect the gamepad and play some android games built inside and you can add geforce now and connect this device to a remote desktop from geforce so you got to pay for geforce now but basically you can convert this own device without a console just with the gamepad into a console or you can install an emulations like amiga commodore maybe playstation one kind of like emulators and you can play arcade games inside of this device from your usb thumb drive that you connected i don't know uh, possibilities are kind of like endless casting system is very easy since you got a huge amount of hardware in your arsenal and isn't there any bad side to this device i can count 
two things that could have been better, not bad things. But the adapter port is a regular adapter port for its own adapter. So this device is basically needing its own power adapter when you want to charge it, charge it. But I would have wished, I would have just wished, this is just a recommendation to BioNTech. Maybe they will do it in the upgrade version or other versions. Maybe they will create a converter kit. If you got a type C charging, that would have made this projector just the perfect. It is still near perfect. and I'm going to use it all the time, probably. But still, if it has, if it had a type C, you could have used your smartphone. Good quality charges around 60 watts, like powerful ones. But it could be a definition of their power need because the adapter, if I remember correctly, is 15 volts. So they tend to use a different volt level. That might be the cause of it. Like some of the smartphone adapters are working like 12 volts, 5 volts. Some of them between volts are not maybe ideally possible with the amper that it needs. I'm not sure why they uh, chose to go instead of type C to regular adapter. But still, I would have wished that. I can't count that as a negative. And one more thing, it has 0 0.23 dmd chip which means it's not having the biggest chip that you can find on the market but considering the size of this you can't put something big to this and improve the size of this device so it's a design choice it's a must to have on a portable device if you go big your glass has to go big your led has to go big maybe or your elements has to go big then your device has to go big etc one last thing could be a kind of like a uh, in an ideal world, okay, you don't need it, but basically, it's not a my, it's not a negative thing. But I'm I'm just saying because this is not a cheap device. It has 10 watts of power for the speakers, and it's quite loud, and it has quite a bit of bass. You can really use it as a Bluetooth speaker without hesitation. When you close your eyes, you can think of it like a tubular style Bluetooth speaker. This instead of a projector, if you close your eyes, just listen to it. But since it's a small device, I guess it has a little bit of lack of internal cavity, like spacing, because it has battery inside too. So even though it has 10 watts of speakers, if it was a bigger projector, I guess, I'm just guessing this, but it's, I think, true. Uh, so it would have give probably 30%, 40% better base, but still, it's giving quite a lot of bass considering the size. And this device is having around, if I forgot to say, you've probably seen it on the screen. The sound level is 30 decibel to 33.6, maybe 34 up top at the highest settings to the lowest settings. So you can't, generally it stays around 30, 32 decibels. You can't hear this device even if you keep it close right to your ear around 20 centimeters so it is uh, it might be the ideal setup for camping because you can't hear the fan noise too so positives it can be used as a monitor because it can go extremely small it can go extremely big you're not going to be looking out for big projectors those are all the positives and i guess this is one of the devices i really couldn't find any negative a little bit of over engineered that's why it is a little bit expensive than you might be expecting from Biontech brand if you don't know the brand. But basically, sometimes you got to think outside of the box. I think they are trying to do that. They could have gone just with the 1 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes of uh, storage, 1 gigabytes of RAM, kind of like licensed Android or Linux solution to make things a little bit cheaper. But they tend to choose, I don't know the reason, but basically they are creating a very high-end product. So if you don't know the performance of Anchor, many of you probably will think at the moment of portable, uh, portable projectors, you might think about the Anchor. I haven't tested an Anchor yet, but all I can say with the 4K internal, it really performs like my $2,000 Epson LS300 and Epson uh, LS650 kind of like performance. 
very fast. I wasn't expecting this much of a thing and it's coming with MX Player built inside and Google Player so you can install everything. So that means you can install Plex, go to the network files, you can from the network media station, you can uh, vi uh, video playback much more easily and this thing won't be jamming itself if you connect a hard drive to it because when you fill your hard drive with movies if you don't have the specs enough your projector or your internal android dongle will shatter away into pieces because with the preview capabilities of offline big 4k movies it sucks but this device can handle it with the hardware and i think i covered entirely everything and you might be asking yourself hey is it worth in the end of the conclusion this is the most important part maybe is it worth to pay around five, 400 and uh, let me just check it again 440 right yes 440 roughly dollar or euro to this well it depends it really catches the picture quality of paris rene 4k of course paris rene is a brighter projector but it's expensive than this one and it's size of something like this like probably six times the size of this and it's not portable and it's loud with the fan it's not a bad projector daily base you could go that but this is portable something portable and interestingly different you can take it to your car charge it with the converter on the way to go and you can convert everywhere into a cinema and I'm going to use it again I'm going to repeat that just not because they have sponsored and send me this but other than that they don't have any control over what I said and this video is not a paid video so this is just the product they send me and it's it will be leaving with me but the most importantly I have lots of projectors out here and like I told you I got a 4k LED projector which I love and when the you know uh, family members comes I will use that one but regular daily basis I will use this one it's interesting to say I wasn't expecting that much and I can really compare it with many of the full HD bull projectors around 3000 NC lumens they are around the territory so this is difficult choice but this is a choice that you have to make because this device has a lot more contrast because it's LED and contrast is very good with this device 10,000 to 1 is I guess real value like I can clearly say it has a lot of contrast over the years of experience and it is kind of like passing the bulb projector level of contrast very easily so it can beat up any full HD a higher price like $700 range 3000 and above ANSI Lumen bull projectors while it's being portable and so although those projectors are kind of like a lot brighter none of them are smart like this you got to add a 4k dongle none of them will have the base probably like this okay maybe some of them do but if you go over 700 dollars which is near double the price of this one they're not going to be portable they are not going to having the contrast they are not going to having the 30,000 hours of uh, light source life so considering all this you got to choose if you're going to be making a decision portable or non portable if you're going to go bulb or LED the first comparison that I did was bulb and LED like this but the second comparison this is maybe more important for some people is the single LED uh, cheaper projectors let's just count it $399 and below like $299 there are lots of projectors out there from 300 NC lumen to 560 maybe 600 NC lumen level so when you consider all these projectors they are cheaper than this this projector but uh, all of them almost all of them until you catch the level of 399 like $400 they don't have a proper Google license and if they do have the license they have one gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage kind of like Linux solution or cheaper full HD Android TV Google TV solution which means none of them are capable to play 4k like this internally and none of them will give you long life 
usability because if you have a better dongle internal you're going to have a better hardware overall use so this is a long time investment compared to them and one other thing like i told you the other models that you can buy from single led up to 399 they are bulky bigger and they need some of them need adapters some of them has a built-in power supply inside they are but they are uh, at least two up to four times bigger than this projector and so would i choose instead of a 399 dollar level of projector with 500 plus ansulumen or this i will choose this that's an easy for me because in my belief and i made a dedicated video about this how much resolution we need i've explained that with a 720p bull projector i have give 4k signal from realme 4k dongle and if you give the best signal you'll get a huge sharp image so that way again i'm going to remind you this device has internal 4k video playback from youtube and any of the stuff that you find so you got a proper 4k dongle that really changed stuff at least for me but if you're going to plan it by a dedicated google dongle add on to a 350 dollar bigger projector and use it as a daily without moving it yeah that's fine you're going to have 50 percent maybe 40 percent more brightness well contrast might not be improved because when they increase the brightness most of the cheaper models less than 400 dollars they tend to use lose a little bit contrast so even though you go higher on the brightness that will help you to go bigger sizes around 120 and a little bit above but if you're going to stay around 100 and if you want to sometimes use the projector in a small manner like a monitor like a 30 inch maybe 24 inch this will get the job done none of the others until that i've tested until now is going to do the trick so it's up to you this was i know quite a long uh, conclusion section in the beginning of the video so don't skip any parts you're going to see the box opening all the content detailed menu and of course the 10 minutes near 10 minutes of audio samples of this device and the latency test <sighs> i fi finished another video right now it's late one o'clock near one o'clock i wish you guys all give thumbs up and like the videos and share them if you can because it really helps people who want to buy projectors and sorry about the light goes off it couldn't handle the long working hours of my life and if you subscribe support the channel that'll help the channel to grow and that way more sponsors will send different brands so i can test different stuff if you have any questions you can ask at the comment section below if i missed anything you can direct it and hope to see in the next video home cinema and tech review until the next video and don't skip any parts just watch it until the end bye welcome to the box opening section of biontech u80 max as you can see it comes with a simple design box but device is not simple we all know that the only way to separate is on the side u80 max icon here it's not the pro but max model and rest is similar so i'm going to get back the whole world is watching so we're going to open up the box we got a handler here that's a nice touch and we got the handler of the projector itself don't worry i will take it out in a second this is a pretty long user manual with a lots of language espanol and arabic and many of the languages probably dutch and you'll imagine this is a long thick user manual that's a nice touch i'm going to remove the first cover here here we have the remote control i'm going to take the remote by the way let's take the I know you're waiting for the projector itself don't worry it's about to come this is the remote control as you can see we have the whole logos of youtube netflix prime and disney plus that means this is a licensed device we're going to take a look at that this is a source button and this is the google voice assistant that's a nice touch here probably this is a microphone settings user power 
back home projector settings and also it could be focus menu too i am going to check that out the focus plus and minus volume plus and minus settings and the mute button that's about it you got a two triple a battery socket here this is the remote control so take it out we got a power brick and i'm going to take a good close look at that and we got a power cable don't worry you're not going to need that power brick because it's battery powered i'm going to take the box away and this is the Vintech u80 max and i'm going to take this out because it feels good not just because it feels good of course it's of course making this beauty shine its best way so i'm going before diving deep of the close-ups of the projector itself i'm going to show you the power brick this is a 60 watt let me just check 60 watt 15 volts 4 amps power brick it's called mosso and as you can see tip is not extremely difficult to find so uh, later on you won't be in having an issue and the thing that i allow is having a standard cable to extend the power adapter if we need it and this cable is long enough and i will tell you all details in the con detail conclusion section don't worry so top look like this this is the box content already i'm going to take everything aside and take a look at Biontech u80 max up close so first thing is first on the front what do we have is piano black lines with mean matte black lines and autofocus sensors here and Biontech logo in the middle you're going to see the studio lights and some of my reflections although the optical element looks smaller it won't be having any issue on what we have and i will show you the picture quality in depth but we got a 0 0.23 inch dmd it says on here so they trust what they have and also i've seen i haven't seen such a stuff because i haven't seen a lot of stuff that i see in this projector i'm going to tell you in the conclusion but dlp projector lens 1.2 to 1 it has the throw ratio on it so it's easier to calculate it on the side we got a metal plate with good ventilation air system and also not just ventilation these are probably for audio and here we got an exhaust port where we can see some of the cooling setup like uh, cooling pipes inside of fins and also this side again fully metal aluminum and also curved gives this device a proper look of professional device image and it feels just like a macbook if you know the surface of a aluminum macbook at the top we have all the things that we need if um, if we somehow miss the you know remote control over here uh, while we are camping forward backward left right and plus and minus for audio and also back button setting button so at the back what do we have at the back hdmi port a, most of the time you might not need an hdmi port this device has an, every kind of casting wirelessly and it has also built-in android so you might not even need an hdmi source but if you want to connect to your console or something other than internal um, android you might have an android stick or something external who knows that's a good uh, setting there i think if i remember correctly this was the hdmi 2.1 so uh, 15 volts on sorry 19 volts up to input and reset button and the power button it really uh, gives uh, green and uh, lights inside i will show you in a second and then we got audio jack and that's about it usb port here and at the bottom what do we have we got four silicon feeds and this will really keep the device on quite steady having a tripod um, is a must this is a portable projector so you can angle it any way you like it so the handler feels quite sturdy and this device is about if i remember correctly 1.2 ish 100 1280 grams or so so it's nothing light having a strong uh, thing it's good also around here we get a brushed style like a effect you might see it 
in the video and it feels quite good when you want to carry it around so that's about it physically i really love the appeal of this device and physically when you touch it when you hit it you really feel the quality all over the place build quality really solid we're going to continue through the rest of the video you're going to see the specs on the screen and this section is over i said probably this section is over but let's just hit this button and see it on the action you gotta push a couple of seconds and you're going to get a blue led on so if you charge it you're going to see a green led on so this is extremely bright as you can see the camera is cannot picking it up right now the room has thousands of lights so according to the room light setup this is extremely bright from close up and we're going to witness through the rest of the video let me just return it and create a lens flare effect for you in the end of this section i think this also looks quite cool right directly to the camera so i'm going to close it and continue through the review before diving deep of technicals of this projector i want to quickly show you something interesting because on the specs it says biontech u80 max can start up from 30 inches that's a good volume 30 inch is a huge uh, monitor size compared to the monitors or basically the entry level of tv size and when you go that small it's extremely bright right now the room is filled with thousands of watts of lights this is a studio of mine and what i'm trying to show you in this section the camera is tuned to auto because i'm going to get you closer so you can see how sharp it is this is basically a photo shoot setup for small products this is a meter and this screen is 31 centimeter of width so this is extremely small let's take a look how this small screen is going to be sharper so i'm going to return the camera and i'm going to get you close okay i'm going to slowly get you close the camera is trying to adjust this way just focus on the sharpness not the uh, timing or the volume because if you do that it really falls apart to configure itself to the sharpness but as you can see this is an extremely sharp image so that's why i think this is awesome to see it around 31 centimeter in an extremely sharp setup so you can use it as a monitor anywhere even in the daylight take a look at the ceiling this is a studio setup extreme lights everywhere and everything looks perfect and this is comparing to that level of brightness quite extreme i just want to clear that out like you can use it nearly anywhere even in a lit environment if you go small like this you probably won't be going that small but it's with the battery just want to remind you that and this section is just a quick reminder that's it welcome to throwing angle dedicated section again because i think this is the most important part for a casual projector and also they are referring this is as a presentation projector that is also important to use it on a table i'm going to demonstrate in a second i'm going to close the lights right now i got two chairs here one is wood one is soft this is an ikea both of them are from ikea if you want to learn the models you can ask but i will have to check that out so this is a stand and image is high the reason is it's throwing from zero degree throw angle i'm not going to keep you long i made a dedicated video go watch that if you got a 50 percent throwing angle it will be like going wide like this so the visual will be quite low even if you go high so those projectors are probably 80 to 90 percent of single led cheaper products you need to get it on a stand and get it high as possible higher than your head level because it will be throwing with the 50 percent go watch that video i'm not going to take this section longer any longer i'm going to close the lights and i'm going to show you as an example why it is so important it's on a table and the height of the table let me get a meter here this is a high kind of like high table okay 98 centimeter high and the height 
of this chair, I'm about to do it 45, which is a low table. I'm going to put this screen aside and just on the same place, just a little bit closer, put it on a 45 centimeter spot. Don't worry, I will get the picture ready for you. Okay, so. Okay, here I am standing right in front of the projector and sitting. This is kind of like 90, 95 inch ish, roughly speaking. So this is not a flat uh, chair. That's why it's little angled, but it can be easily uh, corrected. Don't worry about this, but focus on this. This is why perfect eye height level. This is why this throwing angle is so important. If it was a 50 degree, 50% 50 throwing angle, the visual will be on the floor like this. So it will be unwatchable, kind of like a viewing angle. So to catch the perfect angle, you need to get it up high like 1.3 meters height level. This is so important for me. I wanted to make a dedicated section for this. So let me know what you think at the comment section below. And if you have alternative brands that can do similar throwing angle with this sort of uh, laser or LED light source like new generation, let me know the models at the comment section. And if you're a brand, you can reach me out and send me the products because I really love this practicality. And I will open up the room lights to show you how I see it again. Let me just close one. Okay. You're right now seeing me right in front of it and it's extremely low compared to me. So that means you're going to be able to put it on any small table on in any living room. This will be ideal. That's why I'm going to keep this for myself. This is one of the reasons. You put it, you use it. You don't have to fiddle with the throwing angle like putting on a uh, let's just say bedroom setup. I don't have to use it on a bedroom, you know, bed headrest. I'm going to put it on a bed and it will just project where I look directly. So no fiddle. You don't need, you might not need a tripod. You only need a flat surface to put it on a flat place to get a flat image. Other than that, you don't need anything else. So you could be using like a flat box white carton or plastic notebook stand, laptop stand, whatever. Let me know what you think. I think this is quite important. If I go higher like the other models, picture go quite high. And that is also one other plus. If you mount this on a ceiling base, let me just reverse this, okay? This is not right now tuned to the reverse settings, but look at this. I am using on a ceiling setup if even if I do use it on the ceiling, I can really project the level for my eyes. Otherwise, the image will be hitting to the ceiling itself if it was a 50 degree throwing ratio. So let me know what you think about this spec. Is it important for you or not? Or how easy it is to use it just like a TV, just placing on a small stand or anything that you can imagine. Welcome to the picture quality of Biontech U80 Max. And I want to create a dedicated section. And in, in another section, I will create a fixed exposure. But this scene is auto exposure. The camera is going to try to shoot HDR. The reason behind it, I just want to see in the video just a little bit while I explain it to you why this is such a good looking image. I'm going to go back and forth in this quick scene, but the most important part, this device is capable of playing 4K. I'm going to repeat that all over the video because the hardware is much better than I was expecting. And I really, I am really happy with the results and overall sharpness. So we are giving the best signal, possible signal by giving it 4K video from YouTube directly with internal Google TV. So I'm going to go a little bit forward. You're going to see a little bit of less of a contrast. That's because the camera is shooting auto. Don't worry, I will create a dedicated menu section 
And of course, I will create a fixed exposure scene just for showing you the contrast level. This is not the contrast level and this is not the picture quality. Contrast is a lot more than what you see in this section. So don't skip the parts to get the idea as much as possible. So I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay, this scene is obvious, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit 4K gameplay, okay? Right here, clear it and voice command 4K gameplay. While it searches for the 4K gameplay, I'm going to get the camera close. By the way, right now it's in, let me just hit the specs of the projector. It's working its way in the high mode from battery powered. Right now the adapter is not connected and the voice level is 31 decibel straight beside the projector. That's the great stuff about it. I'm going to play games because games are more, more sharper than generally videos. So I want to show you the picture quality. I will get close going back and forth in this scene and I will also shoot like I told you in a dedicated scene uh, to show you the fixed exposure. The bright area here is affecting our contrast and of course right now you're seeing much more contrasted image but still not as black as I see in real life. So I'm going to go here and then get back probably for the Forza and check if we are playing 4K. And it's playing Full HD. I'm going to push it to the 4K. The device is working extremely fast. That's one of the things that I admire to this device as a spec by. Some of the color effect is because of the camera's shutter. Don't get your head around. Fixed exposure scenes will solve these issues. And I'm going to stop this. This is looking like a pre-animation uh, pre of a scene, cutscene from a, a game. But I'm going to walk around behind the projector as it is right here without any uh, adjustment and adapter. This is the real life noise test. I'm going to mention that. But I want to show you the picture quality around the sharpness from corner to corner. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Text is sharp for a full HD. This is a 100 inch image. Just a little bit ghosting and that's normal for this sensor size and the price range. That's great. I'm going on the right. Again, sharp all over the place sharpness. So I'm going to get back. Okay, I'm going to get the tripod. Sorry for moving a little bit and I'm going to install. I just want to make these scenes a little bit of on the go so you will get a clear idea. This is not uh, to show you something like better than it already is. There is no CGI, there is no fake. I'm trying to be as detailed as possible showing you. Uh, so this is a Forza gameplay. The text around here, the sharpness really amazed me and the contrast is great. You're not seeing what I'm seeing. I'm going to, in a, in, a, in a second, I'm going to shoot this scene with a fixed exposure to show you the difference. But right now the signal is 4K. That's what matters. So again, I'm going to get a little bit on the front to get it on, get to the car scene. I think it's pretty good image. Like, of course, this is playing from RTX 4090. You probably, many of the people won't be having this sort of card. By the way, I'm shooting this video 24p. You might be asking yourself like something is jagged and we are playing from uh, YouTube. So the picture quality from your console will be much better. The uh, bit rate is going lower when you upload to the YouTube. Don't worry about these issues, but generally for this size, this image is good. I'm going to make a dedicated section just in a second to show you with a fixed exposure what do I see as a contrast and I'm going to talk about it in detail probably in the conclusion section. This section is quite over for sharpness and text quality.
This section is about the picture quality when you are fixed as the exposure. As the exposure goes, some of the things I can't really capture like I see, but this is as close as I can get a camera. And as you can see, the sharpness is quite good. Device is acting like a really console uh, companion, in my opinion. This is one of the good games. Sorry about the commercials again. This is one of the good games, the Spider-Man. I'm going to go back and forth. So sorry for that. But also, this is how real it is. And as the fixed exposure goes, I'm going to check back. You're going to see uh, how much of the HDR space that really it tries to uh, put it on a wall. I think it really does a quite good job because it's difficult to get highlights and uh, of course the low tones, the contrast is quite good. The picture is right now 4K and what we are seeing is quite good. And I'm going to go forward a little bit to the gameplay where the action is happening. Spider-Man needs to fly on the streets. That's what matters. But text also shows the sharpness, of course. Okay, so this is what we see. And I'm going to keep it a little bit so you can have some ideas. And while I do that, I will check. Right now we are running from battery. Again, this is cool, not warm. And we can also user define some stuff as you can see this is 15 14 we can go back and forth with the cool and warm i think warm really suits the spider-man this is the sunset setup but of course this will get the job done camera might be in the auto tone of colors like white balance and what else do we have front rear ceiling i'm going to do all these things in a dedicated section so this section is kind of enough but like i told you i want to show you the sharpness so i really want to point some 4k detail shots modern warfare london attack so what else we can show 4k gameplay i think there should be a lot of yeah the ghost of tsushima i guess will get us a lot of colorful images because I really love that game when I was having my PlayStation 4. And right now I am an Xbox guy, Xbox Series X. But again, let's go to a dark scene so we can see how much of the contrast and black it really represents. And I'm going to go back a bit, see if it's still 4K because when you change the video, it's kind of like 2K plus. So again, 4K and I'm going to have to, by the way, the going back and forth in the 4, 4K YouTube video I'm playing, this is also showing you a specs of what this device can really deliver. Okay, this is one of the things. And I think it's quite important, like how fast that you can go back and forth in a 4K footage from YouTube, from any, source like this again this is 4k playing and it really looks great and especially considering this is on the fly on the go portable it's amazing this technology really evolves and before going in a different stages let's play something like l okay let's go lg oled demo so LG's OLED demos are most of the time good for the contrast. That's why I want to show you OLED demos. You're going to witness the black levels and I'm going to check from the back of the camera. Is it performing enough? You're seeing something closer to what I see. And I see a little bit of more brightness than what you see. But basically this is very close to my eye level little darker you might be seeing like exact blacks but of course this is a projector for this price range not exactly black but this is representing 
general, general sharpness. Let's go back, see how this, I'm going to go back to this scene, don't worry. This is a 4K and, and I, I really love this scene. Let me just get back. I really love this scene and I want you to see it in clear. After playing this with this projector for a couple of minutes, the only thing just pops into my head, just exactly I play the videos, how good it is looking like. I wasn't expecting from something mobile this picture quality. I'm not saying this is like a huge sensor big projector performance, but this is checking the box, ticking everything that you need in a general use scenario. Interesting. Still interesting. So, I hope this section gave you enough information about the sharpness and overall contrast of this projector. And maybe later on in digitally, I'll try to show you a little bit of adjustment to real contrast, what I see, so you get as much as possible idea. And this section is over. In this section of the video, I want to explain how I will test the sound of uh, Bintech U80 Max. As I always do, I'm going to take the lavalier microphone off in this section. I'm going to use an omnidirectional ambient recording, 360 recording microphone. I'm going to put that microphone right around 40 to 50 centimeter distance from the Bintech U80 Max, which is probably you won't be doing such a stuff, but let's just consider this is going to be the distance between your head and the Bintech U80 Max. But considering this is a portable projector, it might happen if you go to a camping and if you put it on a hanger somewhere and project it on a tent. You could be inside of a camping tent and using this device. This is one of the scenarios. So without further ado, I'm going to leave you with the second upcoming section of the sound. But just beware, you need to use earbuds or your headphones to get the best bass possible that coming from this device. To your ears and the second thing is I'm going to fix the exposure to get rid of the clipping po possibilities so the audio level is not going to be probably understandable but I'm focusing on the audio quality I'm going to talk to you about the leveling of the audio in the dedicated uh, probably conclusion section overall conclusion is always the most important part of the video but just want to give you a proper example of the audio quality. So without further ado, let's test the Biontech U80 Max to its limits with its audio.
diye kanser sürecinde doping havzayla. Bu hafta değil.
I think it's enough for the audio. What do you think? In this section of the video, I'm going to do something different. Right now I am holding in my hand the U80 Max, okay? And by intake U80 Max, by two seconds of pushing the button, starts to work. And the room lights or ambient lights are on. This is the image it creates by doing nothing. I'm going to go back and show you the menu. How big as it can get by closing the ambient lights. The camera is tuned to auto because if I do, don't shoot this video auto, the ambient light and effect might not be seeming. By the way, the worst setup right now on the left, there is a big bulb there. Philips Hue bulb and hitting the wall so that way is extremely light up so I'm going to close the room lights and Philips Hue lights are closed and I'm going to go back this wall is around uh, 180 to 200 inch ish right now the image size is around 150 plus I can't really tell exactly size but as you can see I think this is easily usable size for a sharpness. And from this distance, even the text is looking sharp. But when I go left a little bit and move forward, okay, it's by the way, trying to do auto correction all the time. You're seeing it's very fast. This up until the mirror on the right that you see, the size is about 120. So this is 120 to 30 inch image and it really works great but if I work my way out a little bit this is 110 probably so again I'm going to go back okay by the way you're seeing how fast it reacts and focuses even there is a big mirror huge amount of stuff that is in front of its way like chairs table and it's doing auto correction and it works pretty great still sharp not losing focus and everything stands straight look at the top of the picture so this will give you a proper idea how good this projector is i'm walking it's doing it on the fly with every kind of uh, light fixture problem possibilities on on it in front of it okay you're seeing it it's working extremely fast this is because of the GPU CPU combination and the focus system. I haven't seen anything this fast acting this good and this bright on a portable scale. So I don't have a lot more to say, but in this dedicated section, probably you got a clear idea. I will use this device. Why I use this device probably in the future for my daily projector, like 60 to 70%. Hope to see in the next video. I'm trying my best to show you these devices are not cheap. So you better know what you buy before you buy it. Little bit of extra money will be on this long run, uh, long investment and kind of like save money if you ask me. So until the next video, there's a lens flare. That's cool. If you have watched my channel before, I just want to make a dedicated section. If you're going to use this portable projector with a tripod, which you might need at some point, like place it on a room, on a corner, because it has auto keystone correction, you can definitely use this Ulanzi tripod. And since it's 1.28 kilos, it's highly easily usable. Really, it stands out and it works great. Look at this it really works quite fine so you don't need anything extra and it it's not moving uh, going down so if you want to use it or don't want to use it let's just take a look i can place it any height level i can go low i can adjust the angle wherever i want because i got a boob head and this device really is sturdy for this projector if you kneel it down a little bit so it will lose the balance if you go higher but definitely it can handle this or up to one one meter height it can handle 
this projector but if you go way above like 130 i guess this tripod can handle so that way it leans a little bit right or left depending on your projector's weight because it has internal battery and it's not something extremely light so definitely you can consider this tripod and i made a dedicated review with best small tripods you can also check that video just in case to add a tripod to uad max